let's see what we can see new over here in makeup and skincare. We saw these in our last Dollar Tree shop with me. These are from Global Beauty Care. They have three different cleansing cloths for us. This blue one is the violet and bergamot. Then they also have the yellow, which is sunflower and honey. And the pink is carnation and vanilla. Now, when I saw these the first time, I did grab me one. I grabbed this one, the violet and bergamot. And I grabbed it because, as you can see, it has... I have hydrochloric acid, vitamin A, C, and E, and y'all already know how I feel about hydrochloric acid. If you haven't jumped on the hydrochloric acid train and you have dry, dull skin, definitely go ahead and hop aboard with me. Hydrochloric acid is going to hydrate your face, which is going to in turn help you look much younger. That's why people think I'm like 10 years younger than I am. A lot of people think I'm 25 when I'm almost 40 years old, y'all. <laughs> And then the pink one, I think I'm going to try this one next because this one has collagen in it. I have not jumped on the collagen train yet. I've been wanting to because of all the good benefits that collagen does. So collagen is going to help you firm and also give you a, a younger appearance. So when you're using a cleansing cloth like this, this isn't something you want to then turn around and wash your face because then you just essentially washed off all of the serums and the vitamins that came in the cloth. So this is something you would use after you washed your face not before the hydrated but mess with hydrochloric acid with avocado and niacinamide y'all already know how i feel about hydrochloric acid and i'm pretty sure positive i've told you guys about my love for niacinamide niacinamide is going to aid in pairing hyperpigmentation or dark spots or red spots that you might experience i have tried their hand mask and foot mask before they have it in a different print I don't see the other print in here today, but I've showed it to you guys and you probably have seen it in your location. And for the price point of $1.25, these are fabulous. So if you see these, definitely give them a try and let me know what you think about it in the comments. All right, I'm seeing some new eyeshadow palettes from my girl LA Colors. I'm seeing four different palettes. So here are two of them that I'm seeing. The bottom one, almost nude, and this top one is night out. And I am really feeling the color story on both of these. Let me know if you've tried any LA Colors eyeshadow palettes and what you think about these. This one is claiming it's a new and improved formula and it is crease proof, which I'm actually very interested in. I think I'm gonna try the night out unless I like the other two palettes better. Let's look at the other two. All right, these shades are lucky and playful y'all i high key love all four of them i really think i want to get all four this lucky one is really pretty i don't think i have a lot of palettes already that have green in them so i may get the lucky one because i already have enough palettes that have color that have shades like this i don't have a lot of palettes that have green shades. and global beauty care still has these lines out they have three total lines they have the smooth and lift the glowing and the recently added blemish one that one comes in the green packaging this location that i'm in doesn't have the blemish one out right now and i need to get better about putting the location that i'm in in the description i'm currently at the dollar tree location in avon indiana um hopefully i put that in the comments um i've already told you guys about these product lines and i have just about every product in each line and of them all my favorite is from this line the glowing vitamin c skin cream this has nice and my ha and vitamin e in it and the formula is very reminiscent of a water cream so what that means it has a very watery consistency and the texture is very light and like just glides on your skin and this nice glow it's really nice if you haven't tried this yet definitely do and let me know what you think about it if you have tried it let me know if your experience has been similar to mine because i'm real curious i'm not seeing anything new for us in skincare then these are new these are cosmetic brush set from b pure this is an eight piece set it comes in two different shades it comes in this pretty pale pink and a pale blue so let's see all right the brushes are for blush highlighter foundation lip a spoolie angled crease and eyeliner y'all already know i am a makeup girly and when it comes to my brushes i take that very seriously because the application of your makeup highly depends on the tools that you're using aka the brushes and sponges that you're using if you're using brushes that aren't dense enough or too dense the application of your makeup is going to look like crap it's going to look spotchy your blending is going to suck it's just going to look horrible so 
just looking at these brushes the only brushes in this pack that would probably even be worth our time would be the spoolie this fluffy brush right here this would be decent for for blending out eyeshadow so not applying eyeshadow but blending it out so once you already have the eyeshadow on your eye you can use this brush to blend it out then this angled brush here that would be good for eyeliner as well as if you fill in your eyebrows i hope you're also cleaning your eyebrows up with concealer that is the same color as your skin tone so this could work as two ways you can use this eyeliner as well as using it to clean up your eyebrows. These other brushes here, these ain't gonna do nothing for you, in my opinion, as a makeup girly. Let me know if you feel differently. Check out these beautiful compact mirrors. Oh my gosh, y'all. Not only are these beautiful, these are freaking sturdy as heck. These are from Sassy Plus Chic. They have two shades, they have the blue, and this appears to be like a light pink purple. It's one of those dual mirrors. So the top mirror is a regular mirror. As you can, if you can see y'all, it's a magnifying mirror. These are actually really cute. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get me one because as you guys know, I do carry a cosmetic bag with me everywhere I go. But this mirror is too big for my bag. Unless I get a new one. When we shopped last time, they did have some new cosmetic bags. These are the new bags that they added. These are a little bit larger than the bag that I'm currently using. I might upgrade myself to a new bag so I can get that cosmetic mirror because it is so cute. And they kind of go together a little bit if you squint your eyes. <laughs> they still have the Q-tips for us that are infused with the different oils. When we first saw these, I grabbed this one, the lavender. They do have four. They have lavender, green tea, rose, as well as coconut oil. And I will say, although I don't feel like there's like oil on my Q-tip, I do smell the scent of lavender, which is nice. I do want to try the rose because I happen to really like the smell of rose and I happen to love pink. And they still have the Tower 28 dupes for us. If you didn't know that they had Tower 28 dupes, I'm glad you're watching. They have three different dupe products. These are all by Be Pure in their Clean Beauty line. The first one is the Lip Color and Cream Blush Duo, the Satin Lipstick, and then the Lip Jelly. I do have all three of these products. The Lip Color comes in these two shades. I have both shades. We have the Late Night as well as the Fun in the Sun. And y'all, this is such a great product. It's nice and light, but the color is extremely buildable and it wears very nice on the skin. And then the Satin Lipstick comes in Classic Red and Nude. I have it in the Nude and it's so cute. And it has like a satin finish to it. And I've told you guys before, I'm not really a matte girl anymore. Those days for me are over. So I do prefer either glossy finishes or satin finishes. And then these are my favorite, the Lip Jellies. It comes in two shades. It comes in Rose and Sandy and I have it in the Rose. The formula is really nice and it has a very good amount of pigment. So if you don't like high highly pigmented products you wouldn't like this and the smell of this is awesome it is very like fruity smelling i really like it it wears long and i'm seeing more locations are stocking this product from maybelline this is a line of lip products from maybelline that i've never heard of this is their green line never heard this before but i have so far found both of these products in two different shades this lipstick comes in this dark red as well as this more red orange shade and then this one comes in and it seems like they have both products in similar shades so then they have this is their balmy lipstick and this comes in this shade as well as a deeper shade let me see if they have the deeper shade yeah here's right here oh looks like they've added the lipstick in a no is this the same shade or is this different okay looks like i found the lipstick in a new shade so here are the three shades that i found the lipstick in so far a very deep burgundy, a lighter mauve, and then a bright red. And the Balmy Lip Blush comes in these two shades. I'm now curious if this also comes in a third shade like the lipstick does. It probably comes in a shade similar to this. And they still have several LA Colors makeup collections in stock. So this one is one of their newest ones. This is their Bubble Tea collection. They have lip oils in this line, eyeshadows, as well as lip glosses this is the newest la colors makeup collection we just saw this one last week this one has four different pieces in the collection they have lipsticks eyeshadows colored mascara which 
is very cool to me. I have never seen LA Color do a colored mascara before and they have blushes. So each product has three different color shades. I'm still waiting for someone to let me know if they've tried an LA Colors mascara that works for them. I've tried like three or four and y'all, I don't, none of them do anything for me, which I'm so sad because the mascara that I do use, it's not horribly priced, it's $12.99. But if I can be getting mascara for $1.25, I would like that so much better. And they still have the LA's Vibin collection. This one I think was added maybe two or three months ago. This is the one that has that super beautiful bright pink blush in it, as well as all these different colored liners, three different eyeshadow palettes, several lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip liners. These look new from B Pure. These are scented hand wipes. If you didn't know, I'm all about being sanitized and having clean hands because as you guys know, I am a social worker, meaning I work with kids and we all know how kids can be, just be touching stuff and just ill. So I love having hand sanitizer and hand wipes on me. So these are catching my eye. So let's see, we can store these in our backpack, locker, desk, and more. They have three scents for us. They have the coconut, the lavender, as well as, this is peach, what is this? This one's citrus. Now I'm curious if these are antibacterial or if these are just wipes that are scented to wipe our hands, which is what I think it is. So these are just scented wipes. So these aren't gonna actually clean anything. So with these, you would have to wipe your hands and then follow up with a hand sanitizer, which I'm too, not too mad about because of course they have hand sanitizer for us from Germax, which they have two. They have one with aloe and then the original. Summer is upon us, y'all. Dollar has already started putting out some of their summer things. And look at all these beautiful summer colors. Look at these cups. These are so cute. And they also have this ship. I think these are for daiquiris maybe. I could be wrong. And these look like margarita glasses. These are super cute. Let's see, what is this? This is a, oh my gosh, y'all, these are cups as well. These are so cute. So they have pineapples in two shades, and then they have the palm trees in two shades. Then they got some shot glasses, some stirs, the umbrella picks. Oh, y'all, this looks like a new addition. These are the little drink pouches. So they have two, this one says, sweet summer and then this one's just a color ombre and then we have some wall decor is the summer vibes and then some more decor so it looks like they have some more stuff that they're gonna be putting out they just started it looks like and look down here we have some more cups we have pineapples a flamingo what is this well, this is also a cup this is a cup in the shape of a coconut and then we have these giant ice cream cups. This is huge. How many ounces is this? Unfortunately, it does not say how many ounces this is, but y'all, this is ginormous. And I'm seeing some more cups down here. They have a lime slice, an orange slice, a lemon, and these super cute that look like they're in the shape of a slice of a watermelon. So they have the yellow, and then they also have, okay, so this would be the slice of a lemon, and this would be in the slice of a watermelon. This one is gorgeous. And y'all look, it even has a little strap to it. These are what they got out for us already for 4th of July. Y'all look at all this to pick from. All this is all the decor they're offering. They have some inflatable balloons in three different shades, a fringe backdrop, of course, the American flag, some more garland, some more hanging decor. This is just really cute. Look at these super cute tumblers. They have two for us to pick from. They have this one that says, get your sparkle on. The blue one with stars on it. And then they have some paper trays for us. They have a larger one and then small ones for hot dogs. These super cute reusable straws in the shape of stars. I actually might get these and just use these year round because they're so cute. And then of course they have some trays and then they have these <laughs> cups party like it's 1776. And then this one says, boom, bang, pow. That's very cute. B Pure has added two new products in over, over here in the hair care line. So this first thing is the split in fixer. It helps repair damaged hair. Fortunately, I'm not suffering from split ends, thank the Lord, because you guys know, I don't do nothing with my natural hair. I wash it, condition it, and then braid it up once a week, and it stays like that. 
But if you're suffering from split ends and if you tried this, let me know in the comments because I'm real curious. So if I do start to suffer from split ends, because there was a point in my life where I did have horrible split ends, y'all. My hair was jacked up. It was chemically overprocessed. I had so much heat damage. I had to get like four inches of my hair cut off. It was terrible. And then Be Pure is also giving us some dry shampoo in two different scents. And it's claiming it's comparable to Baptiste. So we have Chris and we have Blossom, which I'm assuming is just two different scents. The packaging on this is super cute. Now, although I don't wear my natural hair, I do wear wigs and I do style my wigs daily. So product does tend to build up in my wigs. So I am trying out dry shampoo to see how I feel about it in my wigs. And so far, I like it. I have tried out a dry shampoo product from Oil Sheen. Let me see if it's here so I can show it to you. It's not Oil Sheen, y'all. It's from Softy. Um... It's from this brand. This is their oil sheen that they also have in the same line. They also have a dry shampoo that I have tried that I like. So I'm curious if I would like this one. So I think I'm gonna get the, well, I like them both. I don't know which one I'm gonna get. Let me know in the comments which one you think I got. I found this one's home, y'all. It has a whole collection. So it also has these other two products. It has a hair serum and then a hair serum curl defining. This packaging is just too stinking cute. So for the hair serum, it says it's going to help tame frizz for us. So I'm thinking that these might be the same products, just in two different packaging. 